Hello students, this is Professor Sagar Birje and I welcome you all for the online class of Analog and Digital Electronic. And in my previous video, we have seen the necessary steps that we need to follow in simplifying the Boolean function or minimizing the Boolean function using quinn maclasy method. Hope you have understood the algorithms, uh, the steps given in that algorithm to find the prime applicants. Okay. So, for a given Boolean function. So, let us uh, follow those steps in minimizing the Boolean function and let us take an example and simplify the given function using Quinn McCluskey method. So, if you have not gone through my previous video of Quinn McCluskey method introduction, kindly go through it, understand it, and then you can switch on to this video where we are going to simplify the function uh, with an example with Quinn McCluskey method fine. So, uh, taking into uh, care that you have gone through my video. So, let me uh, follow the same steps and apply the same steps in simplifying the uh, function ok. So, students let us take an example for simplifying the following Boolean function using QM method. So, we have simplify the following Boolean function using using win mac kluski method fine so let us take an example we have for the function f of a comma b comma c comma d equal to summation of m 0 2 3, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12 and 13. So, these are the mean terms uh, given and we need to apply the QM method for simplifying this Boolean function and uh, get the minimum expression. So, let us start with the solution. Solution. So, students, what does the first step says? The first step says that list all the mean terms in the binary form. So, you have to list all the mean terms in the binary form. Okay. So, this is step one. So, mean term and the binary representation. So, mean term and the binary representation A, B, C, D. Okay. So, I the mean terms I represent as 0, 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, and 13. So, what is the binary representation of 0? It is 0, 0, 0, 0. For binary representation of 2, 0, 0, 1, 0. Binary representation of 3, 0, 0, 1, 1. 6, it is 0, 1, 1, 0. 7, it is 0, 1, 1, 1. 8, it is 1, 0, 0, 0. For 10, it is 8, uh, sorry, 1, 0, 1, 0. For 12, it is 1, 1, 0, 0. And 13, it is 1, 1, 0, 1. Fine. So, this is step 1 that is representing the mean terms in their binary representation. Fine. So, after representing the mean terms in the binary representation, what is step number 
2. So, step number 2 is arrange all the mean terms according to the number of ones uh, that are there in their binary representation of those mean terms. So, arrange all the mean terms according to the number of ones. Arrange all the mean terms according to the number of ones. This is step number 2. So, here we have the mean term and I have the binary representation of that and we are going to group those mean terms according to the number of ones that have occurred in their binary representation. The first mean term is 0 because we are going to group them. So, 0 because we do not have any ones present in this mean term. So, I represent as 0, 0, 0. So, let me put this fine. Now, for 0, the first group. Next, you have to find those mean terms which have single ones, occurrence of single ones. So, we have mean term 2 which has a single one occurring. Then, you find there is a mean term 8 which has a single one occurring. So, we have uh, this is one group already which is formed with no ones. Now, we have mean two, mean term 2 and 8 which has single occurrences of 1. So, we have to group according to the number of ones occurring in their binary representation of those mean terms. Now, no ones, single ones. Now, you find out the mean terms which have two ones. So, which are those? 3 because it has 2 ones here, then 6 it has 2 ones here and then we have to go with 10 because we have 2 ones here, then 12 also has 2 ones here. So, 3, 6, 10 and 12. So, 3, 6, then we have 10 and 12. So, these are the mean terms which have two ones occurring. So, 0, 0, 1, 1. So, 0, 1, 1, 0. So, 1, so 10 it is 1, 0, 1, 0 and 12 it is 1, 1, 0, 0. So, this is my third group. In this third group, I have those um, mean terms which have two ones occurring in their binary representation. Now, after identifying the mean terms which have two ones occurring, now we have to move on to, to find out those mean terms which have three ones occurring. Now, if you see the three ones occurring are, it is mean term 7 which has three ones occurring, then we have 13 which has three ones occurring. So, 7 and 13. These are the two mean terms which have uh, three ones occurring. 0, 1, 1, 1 and 1, 1, 1, 0, 1. So, students, step 2 is very clear for you people. Arrange all the mean terms according to the number of ones uh, in their uh, binary representation of those respective mean terms. Fine. Step 1 is clear, step 2 is clear. Now, very, very important, please concentrate on this particular uh, step. Step 3 is very, very important students, ok. So, what is that? Compare, compare each binary number with every term in the adjacent next higher category. Compare each binary term in their adjacent next higher category. If they differ only by one position, if they differ only by one position, then put a check mark, put a check mark in that respective mean term and copy the term in the next column with an underscore in the position that they differ. So, this is step number 3. So, let us start with step number 3. So, we are going to compare each binary number with every term in the next adjacent higher category. And if they differ by one position, put a check mark and copy those terms in the next column with an underscore in the position where the terms are differing. So, 
which are the terms let me uh, compare 0 with 2 and 0 with 8. So, every term I need to compare with the next higher category 0 I need to compare with 2, 0 I need to compare with 8. Individual terms need to be compared and you should identify the terms which are differing at the respective position. So, 0, 0 when I compare 0 and 2 you can find in the first column the bit position remains the same. In the second column of B, the bit position remains the same. When I move on to the third column of C, you can find the bit position is changing. 0 has a column uh, has 0 and 2 has a 1 here. And further to verify whether it is differing again by 1 bit position, you have to once again verify D column has 1 bit uh, 0 present in the position. So, you can find there is a change in 1 position only here. There is a change in this position. So, what is that? Here I write the mean term pair that I am going to frame and the binary representation of those terms. Okay. So, let us uh, form the pairs. So, 0, 2. Why 0, 2? Because when I compared 0 with 2, what I found was at the column number 3, there was one bit position change and it can be a part of my, so underscore 0. So, I have put underscore in the position where it has changed and I am going to put a tick mark into those respective mean terms which are a part of my next column. This is step number 3, we are following students, please concentrate. So, uh, compare 0 now with 8. When I compare 0 with 8, okay, when I compare 0 with 8, when I compare 0 with 8, you can find in the first column itself, the number is differing. So, here it is 0 and here it is 1, okay. Let me check out the other three columns bit position. In the column number 2 that is B, 0, 0, the bit position is same. Column 3, the bit position is same. Column D, the bit position is same. So, when I compare, so 0 and 8 can be paired. So, 0, 8. So, you can find here there is a change in the bit position at column number 1. So, I put an underscore there. Remaining terms, I copy as it is. So, this completes my first pair of grouping. This completes my first pair of grouping. So, I will represent the original term as it is fine. Now, what is the next? Next is compare 2 and 8 with 3, 6, 10, 12. For 2 and 8, the next higher category of mean terms are 3, 6, 10 and 12. So, I need to compare 2 with 3, 2 with 6, 2 with 10, 2 with 12. So, now let me compare 2 with 3. So, I am going to compare 2 with 3. So, when I compare 2 with 3, please see that, ensure that the number is differing by 1 bit position only. So, 2 is here 0010 0, 0, 0, and 3 is 0011. 0, 1, 1. So, in the first column if you see 00, 0 bit position remains the same, second column 00, 0 the bit position remains the same, the third column 1 1 the bit position remains the same. And in the fourth column, you can find the bit position is changing. Here it is 1, whereas here it is 0. So, 2 and 3 can be compared. So, I can group a pair of 2 comma 3 and I write 0, 0, 1 underscore. Why I have written underscore here? Because there is a bit position change in the last column of the term. So, I have written underscore there. Fine. So, now. Compare, now compare 2 with 6. Let me compare 2 with 6. So, when I compare 2 with 6, let me check out 0, 0, the first pair remains the same. 0, 1, the pair is changing in the second position. Let us check for the further part. 1, 1, in the third column, the pair bit remains the same. And in the fourth column also, the bit remains the same. So, I put a tick mark because it is differing by one point position. So, I group 2 comma 6 which is differing at position number 2. It is differing at position number 2. So, 0 underscore 1 0. 
getting so where i have to write the underscore in those position where the bit is differing by one bit okay so after noting down the pair that has matched in the next column i move on to map or check out the pairing of 2 and 10 so let me check out 2 and 10 so when i am comparing 2 and 10 what is happening here 0 1 in the first bit position no itself the bit level is changing let us move on i just mark it so that we can uh, check out if there is any other pair which is differing so 0 0 the bit pair is same 1 1 the bit pair is same 0 0 the color bits in the column number 4 also remains the same so 10 can be a part of my Uh, pairing with 2 2, 10 it is differing in the first bit position i put an underscore there and i represent the other terms as it is 0 1 0 so it is underscore 0 1 0 fine hope you have understood this in a better way so students please concentrate so after comparing 2 with 3 2 with 6 2 with 10 now it's time to compare 2 with the last term present in the next higher category that is 12 so when i compare 2 with 12 see here the first bit position the are changing so 0 here so in the second bit position 0 is compared with 1 so again it is changing so pairing of 2 and 12 cannot be the why because there is a change and two positions so as per the algorithm the change should be only at one position so i cannot compare one position so this is neglected fine now let me compare 8 with 3 8 with 6 8 with 10 and 8 with 12 okay so when i compare 8 with 3 8 with 3 is not possible because whenever we are comparing you always ensure that you compare a lower number with a higher order number whenever you are comparing a higher order number with a lower number you always find they differ by more than one bit position and their grouping is not possible so even though let me check out when i compare 8 with 3 you can find 1 0 in the first bit position they are changing in second bit 0 0 the bit position remains the same but when you go with the third and the fourth bit position you can find there is a change so there is a change in more than one bit position so i cannot compare 8 with 3 now i compare 8 with 6 so when i compare 8 with 6 uh, this is also not possible why because again i am comparing 8 with 6 because 8 is a higher mean term compared to 6 so definitely you find there is a change in more than one bit position so let me check out 8 with 6 so 1 0 there is a bit change 0 1 there is a bit change again you can see 0 1 there is a bit change so whenever i am comparing 8 with 6 also you can find there is a bit change in more than one position so comparison of 8 and 6 is not possible so you can avoid this comparison whenever you find there is a higher order number getting compared with a lower order number it can be a reverse where a lower number can be compared with a higher order number okay so now 8 and 10 as 8 is 8 mean term 8 is less than mean term 10 obviously comparison is possible let us check out the first bit position of 8 and 10 remains the same second bit position 0 0 remains the same third bit what you can see there is a change in the third position there is a change 0 1 and in the fourth bit 0 0 so i can compare 8 and 10 this comparison is possible pairing is possible because it is changing at one bit position and the remaining bits are the same so here in the third position the bit is changing i put an underscore there fine so remaining term i write it as it is now it's time to compare 8 with 8 with 12 so when i compare 8 with 12 so let me check out if there is a matching pair happening so 1 1 in the first bit position when i compare 8 with 12 the bit positions are same 0 1 the bit position is changing so 
zero zero and zero zero. So there is a change in the bit position at uh, second column. So there is a possibility of grouping eight and twelve, eight and twelve, and it is changing. So twelve I can mark it. So underscore zero zero. So this is how. This is how you are going to compare each term with the next higher category. So 28 has been compared with 3, 6, 10, and 12, and these are the group of pairings that we have got. Now let us move on to the next higher category of grouping that is 3, 6, 10, and 12. 3, 6, 10, and 12 mean terms are going to be compared with the next higher category mean terms 7 and 13. So 3 is going to be compared with 7, 3 is going to be compared with 13. Similarly, 6 is going to be compared with 7 and 6 is going to be compared with 13. 10, 7, 10, 13, 12, 7 and 12, 13. So let me start the comparison and kindly check out if it is differing by one bit position. Now when I compare 3 with 7, so when I compare 3 with 7, let me check out there should be a difference of one bit position. So 0, 0, the first bit position remains the same. Second column, the bit position is differing. Okay, so here you can see the bit position is changing in the second column. Kindly make a note of it. So 1, 1, the third bit position remains the same. The fourth bit, 1, 1 position remains the same. So I can group 3 and 7. I mark 7 here. So what will be the 0 underscore 1 1 underscore y because in the second column position uh, the bits are changing. So I have compared this fine. Now when after comparing 3 and 7 now I compare 3 with 13. So when I compare 3 with 13 check out first bit position is changing second bit position is also changing. So uh, comparison of 3 and 13 is not possible because it is changing by more than one bit position. So 3, 13 is not possible only pairing was with 3 and 7. Now let me check out with 6 and 7. So 6 and 7 when I compare 6 and 7. So 6, 0, 0 the first bit position remains the same. 1, 1 the second bit position remains the same. 1, 1 the third bit position remains the same and in when I compare the fourth bit uh, position here it is 0 and here it is 1. So there is a possibility of 6 and 7 pairing. So 6 comma 7 where it is differing it is differing in the third position so 0 1 1 underscore okay fine. So concentrate I am applying the comparison for the next higher category and ensuring that the bit position changes by one position. Now compare 6 with 13. So compare 6 with 13. So 0, 1. The position is changing in the first column itself. So 1, 1. The second bit position is remaining the same. In the third column you find here it is 1 and here it is 0. So the bit position is changing by more than 1. So I cannot compare 6 and 13. So next is after 13, so 10 and 7. Obviously, as I have told you students, 10 is the higher mean term and 7 is the lower mean term. So 10 and 7 grouping is not possible. If it was reverse 7 and 10, somewhere we could have thought. But 10 and 7, it is not possible even though we will try. When I say 10 and 7, you can see the bit position is changing in the first column itself and in the second column also the bit position is changing and in the fourth column also the bit position is changing. So I cannot compare 10 and 7. Let me compare 10 and 10 and 13. So when I compare 10 and 13, so let me check out if they change by one bit position. 1, 1, the first column bit levels are same. 0, 1. So 0, 1. The second bit column position uh, bits are also changing. So third one, 1, 0. Again, it is changing in two uh, positions. So 10, 13 is not possible. So let me check out with uh, now 10 and uh, sorry, 12 and 7. 
because here you can see the bit positions are changing in first, third and fourth. So, comparison of 12 and 7 is not possible. Let me compare 12 and 13. So, 12 and 13 let us compare. When I compare 12 and 13, so 1, 1 in the first bit position, the two numbers are same. Second column bit position remains the same. Third column 0, 0 the bit position remains the same. And in the fourth column you can find the bit positions are changing. So, there is a change in only one position. So, 13 can be a part of it. So, I can compare 12 and 13 and I write it as 1, 1, 0 underscore. So, 1, 1, 0 underscore. So, this is step number 3 students. Hope you have understood this. Okay. Comparing each binary number with the comparing each binary number with the next higher order uh, category and if they differ by one bit position, put a check mark and copy that pair and uh, uh, binary numbers and put a underscore in that respective position where the bit has changed. Now, once we have completed comparing all the mean terms, now move on to step number 4. What does step number 4 says? Step number 4 says that apply the same process described in step number 3. So, whatever process that we have applied in step number 3, the same process is going to continue once again for those mean terms which we have in uh, this third step. Okay. So, once again apply it. Okay. And the resultant column and the continue this cycle until single pass through cycle yields no further elimination of literals. So, again here whenever I compare 0, 2 with 2, 3, 0, 2 with 2, 6 or 0, 2 with all these remaining 5 mean terms, it should differ by again 1 bit position. If it is uh, possible and if it is differing then repeat step number uh, 3 once again. So, I am going to have step number 4 here. So, here the mean term pairing we are going to have and the binary representation of that. So, I am going to put a color here. Fine. Now, let me check out. So, best thing here students is to find whether uh, when I am comparing 0 to with the next higher order mean terms, this is step 3 which is going to be repeated again. Find out that there should be an underscore in the same position where this 0 to pairing has. Matlab, find out is there any number within this next higher category which has the same underscore in the same position. Now, here you can find first 3 numbers have once present in that position. So, grouping 0, 2 with 2, 3, 2, 6 and 2, 10 is not at all possible. So, we can find a underscore present in the fourth term of the next higher category that is 8 and 10. Here, the underscore position should be the same and apart from that you have to see that the there should be a difference of 1 bit position only. So, let me compare uh, to 0, 2 with 8, 10. We are comparing these two numbers because there is an underscore in position number 3. Other terms, there is no underscore in position number 3. So, we cannot compare. So, let me check 0, 1. The uh, numbers in column, yes, in the first column, okay. 0, 1. The bit is changing here, yahape. okay. Let us check out. Second bit position in column number 2, 0, 0. Yes, the bits are same, they are not changing. Underscore, underscore, as these terms are not present only, so it does not make any difference. Let me check out the fourth bit position, 0, 0. So, the bit positions are same and it is differing only by one bit position. So, pairing, what I do is I compare 0, 2, 0, 2, and I have compared 8 and 10. 0, 2, comma, 8 and 10. So, 0 to 8, 10 is the comparison. The difference, so I put a tick mark here. I put a tick mark here because these two uh, no, pairing is possible. So, position is changing at first place. Remaining things, I write it as it is. 
fine remaining things i write it as it is fine hope you have understood this so this is repetition of step number 3 students fine now compare 08 with the next higher order category mean term repeat the same process kaha pe underscore hai underscore first position mein hai check out any other pairing of mean terms which has underscore in the first position first two pairing mein nahi hai third mein hai so this and this is possible only thing is the further terms binary numbers should differ by one bit position so let me check out 08 with 210 when i compare 08 with 210 so underscore underscore terms are not present okay third bit position second bit position 00 bit position are same third mein kya ho raha hai yahan pe 0 and 1 the bit positions are changing fourth mein kya ho raha hai 00 the columns uh, bits are same so i can compare 08 with 2 and 10 so i put a tick mark there i put a tick mark there so i group it kaun se kaun se terms 08 and 2 comma 10 so underscore was present here second bit positions were same third bit has changed so i put an underscore there the remaining bit as it is so first group of pairing is over 02 and 08 is compared with next higher category and i could find two terms coming out of it now let me compare 2 3 2 6 2 10 8 10 8 12 with 3 7 6 7 12 and 13 now it is easy 2 3 where is the underscore last column check out the numbers which have lost column yahan pe do hai so let me compare 2 3 with 6 7 first so when i compare 2 3 with 6 7 so first term 0 0 bits are same second term 0 1 so यहाँ पे क्या हो रहा है बिट्स आर चेंजिंग जीरो एंड वन थर्ड कॉलम वन वन द बिट पोजिशन रिमेन्स द सेम थर्ड में तो है ही नहीं सो टू थ्री एंड सिक्स सेवन टू थ्री एंड सिक्स सेवन पेरिंग इज पॉसिबल इन द नेक्स्ट हायर कैटेगरी टू थ्री सिक्स एंड सेवन पेरिंग इज पॉसिबल इन द नेक्स्ट हायर कैटेगरी डिफरेंस क्या हो रहा है सेकेंड बिट पोजिशन पे वहां पे अंडरस्कोर डाल दो remaining terms copy as it is so 2 3 6 7 7 pairing was possible now you can find there is a underscore in the next bit number 12 and 13 so can we compare 2 3 and 12, 12 and 13 let me check out okay so i will just here is this part this was for our reference so that uh, we come to know that we are pairing a proper number and where the difference is Now two three with twelve thirteen. So zero one. यहाँ पे differ हो रहा है. Second bit zero one. So there is a change in the two bit position. So I cannot compare two and twelve thirteen. So pairing of two three and twelve thirteen is not possible. Why it is not possible? Because in the first two column itself the bit positions are changing, and even in the third column also the bit position is changing. So two three twelve thirteen. Uh, combination is not at all possible now let us move on to the next term 2 6 2 ka underscore kaha pe hai it is in the second position so in second position here it is yes for 3 7 it is there so let us check out when i compare 2 6 with 3 7 0 0 first bit pair matching underscore underscore yes it is matching second bit One one it is matching. Third bit me kya ho raha hai? It is changing. So there is a change in the position. So two six and three seven pairing is possible. So two six three seven pairing is possible. It is differing by in the position number three. So zero underscore one underscore. Okay. So pairing of 2 6 and 3 7 is over now there is no uh, any other term which is having underscore at the second position so 2 6 cannot be compared with 6 7 and 12 13 let us move on to 2 10 2 10 yahan pe nahi hai because underscore is in the first position there is no underscore present in the first position of the next higher category 
So, 210 is not possible, 810 not possible because underscore is at the third and here pe there are bit presents, no. 812, let me check out 812 and 37 because there is an underscore here, there is an underscore here in the second position. So, can we compare 812 and 37? Let me check out 10. The bit position is changing in the first column itself. Second, mein koi, uh, bit hai nahi. so comparison is not required. Third column may kya ho raha hai? Third column may be 0, 1. The bit position is changing. So 8, 12, and 3, 7 comparison is not possible. So we stop here. Okay. So we have 0, 2, 8, 10, 0, 8, 2, 10, 2, 3, 6, 7. 2637. Okay, these are the groupings that we have ultimately got. Yes, this is step number four where we have applied the same process that we have followed in identifying the mean term pair in step number three. Okay, so you can find 8, 12, there is no match, and 12, 13, there is no match. Okay, later on we are going to consider them in the prime implicant list okay so check out this is step number 4 now in step number 4 again apply step number 3 compare the mean terms differing at one position and then add them to the next column by putting an underscore in that respective position where the mean terms are changing or differing so yahan pe dekho yahan pe pairing hai kya no, it is not possible. So, further uh, elimination of literal is not possible. We, so, we have to stop it here. So, students, there might be problems where you can find there is possibility of elimination further. Matlab, yahan pe do underscore hai, yahan pe bhi do underscore rahenge, yahan pe bhi do underscore hai, yahan pe bhi do underscore rahenge, yaar yahan pe bits rahenge. So, such problems might be there. So, you have to carefully observe the mean term pair if they are differing further by one bit position again apply the step the three process again to step number four and note down all the mean terms pairing which is possible uh, if there is an elimination of literal and if they are differing by one bit position if not then list out the prime implicants so list out the prime implicants so the next process is listing out the prime implicants. This will be our step number 5. If there is no further elimination, if there is no further elimination of literal, then this will be our step number 5. If there is a possibility of further elimination, then step 5 will be having again all the mean term pairs and the binary representation of it. So, uh, kindly uh, observe the problem that has been given to you. So, step 5 is listing out the prime implicant. So, list out the prime implicants. Kaun kaun se prime implicants hai? Now, these are my prime implicants. So, 0, 2, 8, 10. You can find 0, 2, 8, 10 and 0, 8, 2, 10. All the mean terms are present in both the terms. 0, 0 hai, 2, 2 hai, 8, 8 hai, 10, 10 hai. So, either of the one can be considered. So, in ka binary rep iska uh, representation kaise hoga? Here A, B, C, D, aise likhunga mein. So A is not there. So B is there. B ka kya value kya hai? 0. So I represent uh, B is there. I represent B bar. C is not there. But D is there. So B bar, D bar. Okay. So B bar, D bar. What are the terms present here? 0, 2, 8 and 10. Because both the terms are having the same uh, both the pairings have the same mean terms, so I can take either of the one. In dono me se koi ek hoga. Okay, then come to the next uh, higher order category 2367. Here we will 2637. All the terms are present 2 is present, 3 is present, 6 is present, and 7 is present. So I can take either of the one. So here we will A is there, 0 is there, so it is A bar. Here pe underscore hai, so B is not a part of my, but here 1 is there, so C and then there is no thing, so A bar C, which are the terms 2, 3, 6 and 7, fine. Now, apart from these two prime implicants that I have listed out, 
Now take out those terms also in this prime implicants which are remained unticked. So go to your previous column and check out which are the terms which are unticked 12 and 13. 12 and 13 is represented what 110 underscore. So 110 kaise represent karoge? A, B, C bar. So it is a, B, C bar and it is covering 12 and 13 because it is unticked. So which is the other one which is unticked? 8 and 12. 8 and 12 ka representation kya hai? 1 underscore 0, 0. 1 underscore 0, 0 mein kya hai? 1 is representing A and these two terms are representing C and D. So A, C bar, D bar. So it is 8 and 12. Next, come here, check out if any mean term which is not been ticked. Yes, all the mean terms are ticked. 0 is ticked, 2 is ticked, 8 is ticked, 3, 6, 10, 12, 7, 13, all are ticked. So, there is no further entry of any prime implicant. So, these are my list of prime implicants. So, this is my list of prime implicants. So, this is list of prime implicant. So, this is a list of prime implicant students. Okay. Now, step number 6. Let us move on. After identifying the list of prime implicants, we will move on to step number 6. So, step number 6 is what? Step number 6 says that uh, list out all the, select the minimum number of prime implicants which must cover all the mean terms. Select the minimum number of prime implicants which must cover all the mean terms. So, we are going to, in step number 6, we are going to have a table where we are going to select those prime implicants, minimum number of prime implicants. Okay. So, we have to reduce. So, minimum number of prime implicants which we should cover all the mean terms. Those prime implicants which are covering all the mean terms, such uh, mean terms we have to select okay so prime implicants we have to select so here uh, step number 6 the prime implicants and let me note down the prime implicants kon kon se hai b bar d bar let me note down those number 0 to 8 and 10, it is representing 0 to 8 and 10. Then next is A bar C, it is representing what? 2, 3, 6 and 7. Then the third prime implicant is A, B, C bar, it is representing what? 12 and 13. And then it is the fourth prime implicant what we have? A, C bar, D bar, it is covering what? 8 and 12. Okay. Once we have this, okay, now I am going to represent all the mean terms present here. Which are the mean terms? It, those are given in the function. So, 0 hai, 0 is going to be a part of my mean term uh, table. So, 2 is there. Then we have 3. Then we have 6. Then we have 7. Then we have 8, then we have 10, 12 and 13, fine. After representing all the mean terms, step number 6 students, now draw a table, okay. This will help you to identify the prime implicants which cover all the mean terms. Okay. So, prime implicants I have represented here. All the column wise I have represented all the mean terms. So, check out. Now, put a cross mark in those respective cells where the prime implicant is representing. So, here what is 0, 2, 8, 10. 0 is here. 0 is there. So, 0 is there. I have X mark cross mark kar diya. 2 is there so 2 kaha pe hai put a cross mark here 8 is there 8 ka pe hai yaha pe hai put a cross mark 
टेन इज देर टेन की जगह पे क्रॉस मार्क करो सो टू जीरो टू ए टेन जीरो टू ए टेन क्रॉस मार्क हो गया नेक्स्ट टू थ्री सिक्स सेवन टू कहां पे है टू थ्री सिक्स सेवन यस मार्किंग इज ओवर फॉर ए बार सी प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट नाउ द नेक्स्ट प्राइम इंप्लीकेंट इज ए बी सी बार नंबर आर ट्वेल्व एंड थर्टीन इट इज कवरिंग ट्वेल्व एंड थर्टीन सो ट्वेल्व और थर्टीन की जगह पे क्रॉस मार्क करो ओके नेक्स्ट इज वॉट ए सी बार डी बार ए सी बार डी बार इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग द मीन टर्म्स एट एंड ट्वेल्व एट कहा पे है यहां पे है ट्वेल्व कहां पे है यहां पे है ओके ना वट इज दैट आई एम गोइंग टू हैव द फाइनल बुलियन एक्सप्रेशन Now we have to identify the essential prime implicants. We are going to find the essential prime implicant. So essential prime implicants, uh, how do we find from this? The essential prime implicants. Prime implicants already we have identified. Now we have to identify the essential prime implicants, which are going to be a part of my final Boolean expression. So F kya hoga? What should be the final expression? Those terms, those prime implicants, which are covering all the mean terms. so from this table we have to check out those columns of those respective mean terms which has a single cross which has single cross so if you look here in zero there is no further cross present in this cell so i just encircle this identify those columns which has a single cross there should not be double cross so here two there are double cross so i will not consider this three yes there is a single cross i put a circle here six there is a single cross i put a, a single cross present there is no cross here there is no cross here there is no cross here seven yes there is a single cross there is no other cross present in either of the cell so eight first and second uh, sorry last so eight is not possible ten why because there is no further cross present here 12 yahan pe yahan pe hai so 12 is not part 13 yes there is a single cross present here now for this x and this x so what are the terms present here b bar d bar so b bar d bar okay for these three x 1 2 3 what is the term prime implicant present here a bar c plus a bar c this is the sop a bar c plus for this x what it is covering a b c bar plus a b c bar so we are not covering a c bar d bar so this is my final reduced expression for the given boolean function 0 2 3 6 7 8 10 12 using quinn maclossy method so hope you have understood this student so this is my essential prime implicants and how did we uh, get these terms by identifying those x in those columns in this table which has no other x present in their next adjacent cells तो so, x में यहां पे भी नहीं है यहां पे भी नहीं है x यहां 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 नहीं है यहां पे भी नहीं है यहां पे भी नहीं है यहां पे भी नहीं है सो so, यहां पे दो है यहां पे नहीं है यहां पे है यहां पे नहीं है सो 1 2 3 4 5 6 सो दीस 3 3 x व्हिच आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग 3 6 एंड 7 आर अ पार्ट ऑफ द प्राइम इंप्लिकेंट a बार c सो so, a बार c इज गोइंग टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ माय फंक्शन this x and this x that is 10 and 0 are part of my prime implicant b bar d bar so b bar d bar and this x is a part of my term a b c bar okay remaining there are two cells uh, cross present so this is how students we apply the quinn maclossy method in simplifying the boolean function okay identifying the prime implicants and essential prime implicants and the essential prime implicants will be my uh terms which are going to be a part of my final boolean expression so this is my final reduced boolean expression so students hope you have understood this concept of applying 
QM method, that is Quinn McCluskey method, or also we call it as a tabular method. Sometimes uh, they may uh, give you the question like uh, simplify the following Boolean function using tabular method. Okay, do not get confused with tabular method. Tabular method is also known as your Quinn McCluskey method. Okay, so apply those algorithms, understand the steps, apply the algorithms in a proper way, and you get a reduced expression for this. Hope you have understood this. Uh, there will be another video uh, with the same uh, different example applying the same Quinn McCluskey method. Hope you have understood this. Uh, you can watch at my next video on this method of Quinn McCluskey on simplifying the uh, Boolean function. So thank you students. Hope you have really understood this. If you have any queries, kindly uh, text me before texting me kindly go through the videos kindly i request you kindly go through the videos thank you very much for patiently watching my video and hope this video has made you understand the twin mccluskey method for minimizing the boolean function thank you very much